Have you read such type of social media posts? Here's more. This is the common style most modern social media influencers use to gain attention and popularity. They posts bullying, negative comments to get the attention of people, thus opening other opportunities from it. We know it is inappropriate, but why do they still practice this? The introduction of social media provided countless positive things in our lives. Not only did it made our world smaller, it ironically opened the world to our fingertips. One has to mesmerize the days when we cry and complain when one of our close friends or relatives would need to leave for quite some time. Though social media do not fully solve this, it greatly dissipates our longing for our special person through video call or FaceTime call. Social media also opens the world to us, brings us to places we are just longing to visit on our lifetime. It also brings out the creativity of our minds through our posts and videos. However, as good as it looks, social media omitted one key element of our human behavior. Accountability With the popularity of Facebook but lack of background checking, one can easily create multiple pseudo-accounts and do whatever he or she wants. They can posts from troll posts to negative comments regarding whatever posts they want to comment at. This also leads to cyberbullying, the most common thing we are experiencing right now. To respond to these relentless fake accounts, Facebook started to create additional layers in order to at least track multiple accounts. They have introduced the two-point authenticity of each created account where users are requested to submit a valid phone number upon creation of an account. However, such policies does not refrain to do a workaround on it. These people have now evolved to something else. They no longer hide their identities. To date, there are still numerous Facebook accounts that linger around the social media platform. Thus continuous memes and fake news are released. From rude comments to bullying posts, these influencers are abusing the platform to gain popularity. After which they will use it to get deals and other opportunities that open up to them. I honestly believe that these people are not really bad people in real life. They just know and understand the risks of bringing hatred online and using it to their advantage. To date, the rate of these influencers who embraced this negative status has been rising fast. What is more worrying is people are starting to embrace it. With the pandemic, impending recession and price inflation, people are exploring all possibilities and opportunities to earn. We need to earn more not just for future proofing, but also to satisfy our daily needs. However, does these current predicaments really justify the audacity these modern-day influencers bring? Let us all agree on one thing. Negativity or hated will never bring good. No matter what reasoning we try to justify it, wrong is always wrong. Being negative to people and pretend to be the voice of the voiceless is a complete justification of using the platform to gain popularity. Much like a thief stealing to feed their family. In addition, being a negative person will not help your reputation in the long run. These moves will bring temporary fame for one's career. It has been proven before. Give it a year or two. Nobody remembers you anymore. With all the issues and problems our world is facing, we should spread positivity rather than hatred. Let us encourage rather than discourage. Learn to criticize creatively and not negatively. Much like you liking this video and subscribing, rather than just skipping to the next video. As of this writing, our governments has yet to have proper resolutions for these type of influencers due to the freedom of expression. Until they find the proper laws to regulate these things without stepping on anyone's right, and until we figure out amongst ourselves the damaging effect of such practice, 
I personally don't see these style of influencers to end in a foreseeable future. And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these my brethren, you did it to me. Matthew 25 40. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Eric, and if you find this video interesting, please subscribe, comment, like, and share. It sounds really like a broken recording, but it really helps small channels like mine. If you know a topic you want to discuss or learn more about, you may email it to us through the link on the description. See you on the next video. Let's talk some facts.